Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. I said it wasn't that bad a picture. You just kind of looked a bit. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, <laughs> welcome to Chewing the Cud. Um, what have you got for us this week, Lee? Well, this week we have some Drag Race news. Okay. Drag Race UK news. Okay. Um, we've got some news about uh, pop stars. Um, and uh, we've got something fruity, soft fruity, going on in Crafty Queens. Um, and then we've even got a game that you can play with as well. On screen now, you can see all of our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV. And as the names of people who have commented on our social media scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike in the buzz. Now, before we get to the buzz, something's happened recently. I swear to God, if you put that <laughs> photograph up, I will turn tables, I will destroy this set, and then I will just leave. <laughs> the gallery have been on holiday. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, when they came back from holiday, they said, said Mike, we brought you some little gifts oh. for what we think should go in your cars. In the cars? In cars, yeah. So they've left a little gift in our cupboards. Have they? Do you want to go first? Shall I, shall I have a look like, in mine first? It's the other side of you, babe. Wrong side, oh, I'll It's you know, same, same set as been for ages, but... <sighs> we need to clean out those cupboards. Oh, how lovely! It's it, it's a, a it's a, a um it's a a nodding solar unicorn. Like I don't have <laughs> enough shite on the <laughs> of those, but that's lovely. Is it is it from Portugal? What do you got? So, yeah. What have you got? And I I have a, a surfing man. Oh, how lovely! He's solar surfing man. I I'm getting bottom vibes though. Are you? I don't know why I'm getting bottom. Maybe the. Okay, you are due to you are due to refresh your vehicle soon, aren't you? I, I am due to refresh my vehicle. So that would be lovely. For once that wasn't a, a bitchy comment about cleaning it. No. No. Pour <laughs> petrol on it, set it on fire, just leave it where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do that for you. See the amount of plastic in one. Mine's a smart car. See it from space. <laughs> <laughs> With the glitter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Mm. Anyway, um, talking about cleaning my car. Yes. Um, are you particularly anal about cleaning? No. <laughs> anal cleaning? <laughs> anal cleaning. We're talking about cleaning. Cleaning is a cleaning. whistle. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> From I, what we were told in 1972. <laughs> I go through phases of, like, I need to do lots of cleaning and okay. tidying, and then I go through phases of, I can't be arsed. Okay. Life's too short. Okay, what about public spaces? How, how clean do your public spaces need to be? I don't own any public spaces. As in when you're out in public, in a space with public people? With public. Well, if I'm in a restaurant, yeah, huh? then I would like it to be clean. <laughs> okay. I, if I'm going to a public toilet, I don't want like it, stains You like on it to toilet. be filthy. <laughs> I, 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 Let I, me lick it clean myself. Generally, yeah. And if I'm going... <laughs> yes! No. <laughs> if... If, I'm not because you carry your in your man bag. You have everything. I have everything. You I imagine, imagine you have like sterile strips and all sorts of stuff, wipes to do everything. Uh -huh. um, if I'm going away in a hotel, I expect I would like that to be clean. Okay. Escalators. Okay. When you're on an escalator and you put your hand on the little back thing so you don't fall over and die. Get your head trapped. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, do you ever worry about how clean they are? No. Oh well, you really should do because a lady in Singapore has gone around wiping them. Okay. With a white wipe to see just how dirty oh. that they are, and the answer is filthy. Well, I'm I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. It's not a shock. It's not because <laughs> people have got their hands on them all day long. No, no, all different people are touching it. Not they've not got a hand on it all day long. Well, somebody's <laughs> hand is on it well, all day all long. Like just holding an escalator banister. But I have about seen. It. I have been in shopping centres like early in the morning, mm -hmm. where the cleaner is cleaning the. So they've like sprayed the. The, the black rubber rate. thing, and they just stand stand there with a the cloth uh -huh. as it goes all the way around. So it works smarter, not harder. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not surprised it's filthy, even after it's been cleaned. 
But it's yeah. black rubber, so it's, that's not filth. All of it is not filth. No, it's all filth. All of it, some of it will Look, be. that's the, brown. Well, that's brown, yeah, but they're, they're black. It's black rubber, so the black rubber will come off. I'm not saying it's not dirty. I'm not I'm not advocating for the for the <laughs> filth of... Shall I tell you, give it a lick, see if it tastes Well, that's dirty. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to eat my dinner off it, am I? <laughs> but she's actually going around, it and... it's like, grading them as well. So it's oh, like saying, okay. this one's particularly clean, this one's not so clean. Yeah. Or just don't touch them. Just don't touch the handy thing. Just stand there. Stand there and hope no one brushes past you because I always feel like I'm going to fall backwards and die. Well, London is very... They're very aggressive in London, aren't you? In, aren't they? In your underground and stuff. They literally push you out of the way. If you stand on the wrong side, yeah. Yeah. They're like, oof, and you go like... Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. grab on for dear life. Oh, there's a person in front of you. No, because they're, 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 no, they would come with you. Yeah, That's but that, they, they, will, they will cushion your fall. If they're in front of you, they will kill you. You're falling backwards, therefore, as you, you're cushioning therefore. But as you fall, you turn them round. I'm not that quick. No. no. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, next story we have is... A, it's a food-related story. Is it? Okay. Um, how do you season your food? Um, I, to be honest with you, I don't season it very often. I'm not one of these people that... You know, those people that go, before they've even taken a mouthful, salt it. like salt it and pepper it. No. Taste it first, and then See if, if you needs. need to. Uh -huh. But I, in general, I don't tend to use salt and pepper very often. Vinegar on the chippies. Um, <laughs> Vinegar on the chippies. <laughs> Tommy sauce sometimes. Well, on most things, to be honest Tommy with you. Tommy sauce? Tomato sauce. Oh, right, not sauce from Tommy. No. no. Um, yeah. It's, I'm num num yeah. num num. Um, salty. But yeah, I do have a partner who, uh, I do have a partner who drenches everything in pepper. Okay. So, yeah, well. just thought I'd put that out there. Okay. Well, it's a story about a lady in Italy who decided she wanted to season a bagel. Right, and she was on a boat, so she dipped in the sea. You lost for words on that, aren't you? No. Do, do you know when some? Do you know, do you know when I, I get the rage? And or, I can't, or and, I, and, I, and I'm like going, I want to, there's, there's, there's flames inside oh, me. Because? That, because she's done that just purely to get attention. She's done it a lot. Does she do it a lot? She does it a lot. I hate her. <laughs> so Is she American? No, she's Italian. That she should know better. <laughs> so what she's saying is, um, for th for, instead of putting salt on things, she will dip it in the sea, rinse it, <sighs> shake it off, and then use it. Because it it will salt it. What a dick! I just want to bring, bring her over to Blackpool, get her to drive a go there. It's, oh, what just is, carry what some sea salt. Just carry some salt around with you and stop being such a dick. And if um, you want to not be a dick and don't dip things in the sea, feel free to share it with us at the Cud TV. Oh, that rhymed. That was clever. Wasn't nice. It? That brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, if I said devil's lettuce at you, what would you think? That's that's the that's the cannabis. Cannabis. The weed. <laughs> the ganja. The the skunk. The skunk. The blow. Or is that something oh, different? Something different. Is what's is blow cocaine? Okay. Well done, you. They're very similar <laughs> um, because they're both illegal. I think that's well, where this cannabis isn't illegal in yes. a lot of places. Well, it is here. Here it is. Why are you doing that? Oh, uh, the kind of oh. um. See, there's the racism. <laughs> a little bit delayed from the last article. Yeah, it's there. Um, so this is a story about some sheep okay. who have got into a grow, which is where they grow. Oh, is that the term? That's the term. Okay. Right. Um, and had a bit of a num, 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 num. Oh, okay. So they ate the cannabis. Ate the cannabis. And then were reported to be acting strangely. Oh, okay. Um, that's actually not an in-life picture. That's not the actual cannabis. No, it's very clever, isn't it? They would just put a random stock photo of sheep and put some cannabis leaves over the top. Yeah. I didn't... Does the actual... Because I, I mean, I, I'm not a drug expert. I'm, I've not been on crack. Um, not this week. Not this week. Heroin is quite Moorish. I didn't, I didn't think that the leaf of a cannabis plant was the thing that you wanted. You wanted the, 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 the extract from it or whatever. Why are you doing this? I don't know the extract. It's the it. flowering head. Is it? Oh, head. Is that the what? Yeah. Is that what you need? Yeah, the, the, that's the main point. But the whole plant contains some of the, oh, the, okay. the drug itself. But they they basically eaten the entire thing. 
everything down to the ground. Nom, 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 tits, nom, nom. were they? They were quite munchy. Because the problem with, with cannabis is it can give you the munchies. Oh. So by the time it started, it was doomed. Oh, there was like a, like a just a brown patch of land. So these sheep that were off the, the, off the nut, yeah, yeah. Um, what did they do with them? Did they, did, did they like, because obviously you can't, you can't eat them. <laughs> Not live, no. <laughs> no, how long does it take for the, for, for the weed to get out of the system, for the it, system? It could take a while. Can it? Could, okay. Depends on how much you consume and over what. Well, they're consuming a f***ing <laughs> field full. <laughs> exactly, well, greenhouse full. A greenhouse full? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one looks particularly off its tits there. <laughs> it's very blissed out. It is, yeah. It's very happy with life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's all from the buzz this week. Oh, thank you very much for that. Just remember, people, don't be a dick. Well, if you are going to be, let me lick you. And coming up next, we have Lee in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for all the showbiz goings on with Lee. It wouldn't be showbiz without either a story about Cher or a story about Drag Race. Or Waxworks. So, or Waxworks, which coincidentally we do have a story about that <laughs> coming up. Joyful. And we've got a story about a Drag Race. So, Is Cher in Drag Race? No, not this one. Okay, I was going to so wait for your head to explain um, if that happened. So, season five of UK Drag Race has started. Joy. Joy. Um, and already it's facing a bit of, of a casting backlash. So, okay. um, Basically, people online, people online, people online, people the online, online people. the online community uh -huh. uh, are questioning the choices that have been made, as in um, the representation of queens um, for the UK. Um, so we've got this is this is the current cast. Uh -huh. um, basically, what people are saying is is that so we've got so we've got Alexis Saint, Pete Banksy, who's from Manchester, uh -huh. Caramel. Dee Dee Delicious, Ginger Johnson, Kate Butch, who is my current favourite at the moment, uh, Michael Maruli, Miss Naomi Carter, Tamara Thomas, and Vicky Vivacious. Okay. Um, so a lot of people are going, brilliant, but then a lot of people are kind of saying there's a lack of diversity, as in no Scottish queens, no Welsh queens, and no Northern Irish queens. Okay. Um, so, somebody on Twitter, well, not a single Scottish, Welsh, or Northern Irish queen in RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 5. That's not very slay, to be honest. And um, that words um, um and um blue hydrangea who is the winner of one of the Versions incarnations yeah uh, wrote love the uk five cast but five seasons with only two irish queens now rupaul is not meant not talking about this at all because rupaul does not me. talk about these things um but uh michelle visage has been asked about it okay and she's kind of she's not given a particularly very Eloquent answer to it. So basically, what we got? So this is this is Michelle. I mean, that we we're not, we'll talk about the camel hoof at a later date. Um, but you know that she's lost a lot of weight. She has lost a lot of weight. Yeah, this was at the Brits earlier this oh. year. Yeah, this. Mm, I racist. can see her vulva. <laughs> I don't know what one of those is, so I wouldn't know. Okay, nice a bit here. Oh, how lovely! Put a penny in it. Um, so heavy in it. Part of the car in it. Gold sovereign. Um, <laughs> so they've asked her about the kind of lack of, of diversity, uh -huh. and she has replied, "You can't pick from the sky. If they don't audition, or if they're not on the level that they need to be quite yet, then I do believe that they'll get there. That's but that's the way the cookie crumbles." So she's not really clarified anything there. So what she said is, "No good ones have applied from those areas." Yeah. So she's basically said, if you don't apply, then you can't get on. And if you're not good enough, you can't then you can't get on. Which I, is, I suppose is fair enough. It is. Um, however, you would have thought that, you know, with the, the amount of drag queens that are around in certain areas. Um, so, so she said, basically, she's kind of like said, she would love to represent all of the UK, but it's all about the audition. So other drag contestants have kind of said, so Victoria Sponge, uh -huh. she's kind of said, is it Victoria Sponge? I don't know. I want to say Victoria Sponge. Okay, say Victoria Sponge then. But I probably don't think it is Victoria Sponge. Anyway, she she was the first cis female drag queen to okay. go on to uh -huh. uh, Victoria Scone. That's uh -huh. it. Uh, she's kind of said, why are there no drag kings on the show? 
why is there just no it's just not a day. so yeah it is what it is at this point the reason why there's no drag kings is because rupaul doesn't want to have to do another version of the theme tune okay because he had to make a change when they had milk on yes right to the best drag queen win yes had a drag king on what they're going to do the best just drag, drag artist it's drag artist with yeah, that's what yeah. Works, but mm, so yeah if you're watching it and you like it great if you're not and you don't that's I'm fine not, i'm not watching it i think we've reached a level now a bit bored of drag race mm, yeah anyway let's move on to something else okay um adele 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 love um so she's raking it in in vegas with her residency um <laughs> millions of pounds a night just just singing a lot of old tut and people are, are loving it. Um, Emotional self-harming everybody. Yeah, well, but apparently, recently, mm. she had to deflect a marriage proposal that was shouted at her from the audience. So she was in the middle of, of, of a song and um, in early September, and uh, a fan asked her for a hand in marriage. So you know when they kind of like do sort of pause in between songs? So this, the, it was female um, uh, uh, a female audience member mm -hmm. who shouted out, um, will you marry me, Adele? And she went, you can't marry me. I'm straight, my love. And my husband's here tonight. Um, I don't think this is from the night, but in general, she, she, you know, she's quite a big ally mm -hmm. for the community. It, she wasn't being mean. She was just kind of jokingly saying it back. Um, so when the fan asked, can you try? She went, no, I don't want to try. <laughs> And with Rich, you're crazy. Leave me alone. I think then she started to get a little bit irritated by it because she wanted to sing Rolling in the Deep. And she's got this lesbian screaming at her from the audience. <laughs> Good marry me. Um, and she... Choice of songs there. What? She wanted to do Rolling in the, in the Deep and deep. lesbians. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Could have been chasing pavements. Um, she's been romantically linked with this gentleman, Rich Paul. That's his first name, Rich. Rich Paul, how ironic would it be if he wasn't rich at all? Doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be rich. Well, he, yeah. Um, this is them. Um, and because she's notoriously guarded about her private life, she does not is, talk about it. Which is right. Absolutely fair enough. Um, people have kind of spotted this massive diamond ring that she's been sporting mm -hmm. um, earlier this year and have assumed that she's got married. However, this was the first time that she's actually said, my husband is here, which is kind of... So all the lesbians were sad because you know, they thought they did possibly stand a chance of marrying Adele. Still, they can still have, um, what's it called, ethical non-monogamy. There's still a chance. I just don't think she... she I don't think I there's don't a chance she goes that at way. all. No, but... Um, uh, but, but it's nice that she's acknowledged it and <laughs> said... <laughs> 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 Once, politely. Yeah. Second time, <laughs> off. Third, bit. I'm having you removed. That's that. Well, that's what happened. It, it wasn't taken out of the back and shot. <laughs> shot in the back of the head. <laughs> and uh... hello, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows where you've gone. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't. Fa I mean, Kylie's going to Vegas. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to Vegas. Why not? Because it's hot. Air conditioning. I don't care. It's hot but... and it's too far away. Stop you being don't have lazy. To walk. Don't be lazy. Do a tour. <laughs> For God's sake. It's too far away. Stop being lazy. Yeah. Do a proper tour. End of. Go to Vegas. Stop being lazy. No. <laughs> I refuse. Anyway, let's round off this, this trio of, of marvels with um, Ollie Alexander. Are you a fan of Ollie Alexander? I am music a fan of years? I am a fan. Mm. Now, we... in, in both the, well, actually in the musical sense and the personality sense as well. Okay. And I'd have a go if you offered it. Would you? Yeah. Okay. But there's not many I wouldn't, is there? Something? Well, no, there isn't. Yeah. Um, so recently we've spoken about uh, Harry Styles having not mm. one but 20 waxworks made of him deployed to all continents of the globe so that people can... Molest them. Go blah, 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 yeah. And see if he's got willy. Um, however, Ollie Murs... No, who the <laughs> f*** is Ollie Murs? <laughs> Ollie Murs? Remember his thighs? Nobody cares about Ollie Murs. Oh, no, not even Ollie Murs cares about Ollie Murs. Stacey Sullivan doesn't. Is she oh, married to her, isn't she? No, Stacey Sullivan's not married to Ollie Murs. Stacey Sullivan's married to that Cockney bloke from EastEnders, uh, <laughs> Joe Swash. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah. Who's he uh, married to, then? Who's Ollie Murs married yeah. to? I don't know. Uh. 
Some somebody. Uh, His wife. Ollie Alexander. Yeah. He has been given the honour of being made into a waxwork okay. at Madame Two Swords. Um, which is quite a big thing because they don't tend to have very many LGBTQIA plus no. models in in so you've kind of got Elton. Elton, Freddie Mercury. You could say Miley Cyrus, because she does identify as, as bisexual. Yeah. David Bowie. However, there's not many current ones. So, yeah, it's going to go in the London. Um, that's not the waxwork, by the way. See, the, the <laughs> problem I have with this picture, right, is that his socks are too big for him. Because the ankle bit is all the way up there. You can see where it's slack. That's where his heel should be. That's his, that's, yeah. That's, okay. It's not right. He's... I don't think he's overly concerned about it. I know it. it's not, but it's just, it, it perturbs me. It perturbs you. Or perhaps it did and he couldn't carry on and he just had to lie down and say, I can't carry on until my heel is back in my sock properly. Okay. Mm. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, they, they have, they're in the process mm -hmm. of making the waxwork. I mean, he's not very tall, so I don't think it's that long. Um, now, there's, so there's, they haven't finished it, so there's no finished object okay but he's posted a couple of pictures of himself kind of being measured and stuff mm -hmm. that's a bit that doesn't look particularly like it him it does do you think it does it's yeah getting there. Uh, so he said i'm completely overwhelmed and honestly in shock and disbelief to think i've been made into a figure for the iconic madame two swords they like measure his eyeballs mm -hmm. measured his teeth measured everything to get the right Proportions. How big his cock is? I don't know if because they, they don't have cocks. He said everything. I don't think they do the cock I think, area. I think just for the understanding of exactly how his pants should hang, and you would measure his cock. Both, both soft okay. and direct. Um, uh, sometime early next year, there'll be a re re reveal, and then probably twelve months later, as they do in Madame Two Swords, where it's not so as popularity as, as kind of dipped, it'll get melted down and turned into something else. Cheryl Cole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the end of this week's show business. Thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that someone's being melted down to become Cheryl Cole. Um, but stick around, because coming up next, we have a quiz for Lee in our Game of the Week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week, we're going to play a new game. Well, it's the Gobby Game Show, but Fluid Edition. And this one is for our very own Lee. Off you pop. Game of the week. Go be game show, as we all know and love. Um, basically, is where you've got to describe something with an obstruction. Now we're going for a liquid or fluid edition, shall we say? And so Lee is going to gargle. Are you ready, Lee? I am indeed. Um, I'm not giving you a choice. Um, oh. of, of, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Okay, so... Um, oh, there's nothing on there. There's nothing on that one. Oh, here we go. Okay, so uh, I've, it's given me two choices, and I'm going to choose which one yes. I can barely remember. Um, I'm going to put some fluid in my mouth. I'm going to gargle uh -huh. the tune. Okay. And, um, and you, you're going to have... To, this is going to end up hideous. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to like, aspirate on television. Now, you only get one go at this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't do repeated. I wasn't, I didn't quite catch it. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you'll just have to try. Um, Somewhere over the rainbow? It was not, Mike, no. Okay, what was um, it? That, that was Imagine by John Lennon. Do it again. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I can pretend. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's only so much fluid that I have <laughs> to be able to, to, to recreate to okay, do this. Let's do the next Wait. one. It's a one take only. Okay. Okay. Right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's as much as you're getting from that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
what I love is this is your idea. I know, and I never <laughs> even thought it through, practiced it or anything. Oh, I'm fine, man. Uh, um, <laughs> I can recreate it you're... without the flurry. New York, New York by Frank <laughs> <Scott>. <laughs> That was Waterfalls by TLC. <laughs> you don't go, don't go to this waterfall. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh. uh, okay. okay, let's okay. next one. Let's go for the next one. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, can I have the non-fluid version? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the fluid in my <laughs> Any? Dance yourself dizzy. <laughs> that, that, close. That was, that was Miss Jackson by Outcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. Miss Jackson. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh. Okay, right. Let's try another one. Let's not. <sighs> oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> Oh, uh, the non-fluid version. <laughs> Bad oh. Romance by Lady Gaga. <laughs> Everybody wants to rule the world by tears of fear. Okay. Um, maybe we should do some non-fizzy fluid. Next time. Um, but, it's well, not because it's fizzy. <laughs> it just gets stuck in me glot. Uh, um, oh, I don't know either of those. Uh, that's all right, I won't get them anyway. I don't know any of those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I, get, I can get the first sentence out. Don't think you can. No. Um, Go again. I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> right. This girl is on fire by Alicia Keys. No! <laughs> it makes it sound like because it's so easy to get. Sweet dreams are made of these by the Eurythmics. Sweet <laughs> dreams are made of these. We get some, okay. Can we just get some flat water for you? Because the fact it's fizzy will not be helping. It doesn't make any difference. Okay then. Right, okay. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> you gotta fight for your right yeah! to party. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Very excited by that. Yeah, do the uh, non fluid version. <laughs> if any of those screenshots of my face doing these things appear. So, if anybody's ever wondered what Lee looks like giving head. Um, okay. <laughs> <coughs> and no. the fluid version. Funky yes! By what's it thingy? 
by um, Lips Incorporated. Yeah. Must be getting better at it because you're getting them now. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> you just been sick. <laughs> I just. I couldn't swallow it all. Uh, oh. oh God. <laughs> I didn't want to swallow it. So <laughs> that was <laughs> House of the Rising Sun. No, that was Hello by Adele. <laughs> you got cocky there, did it backfired? Well, and the non fluid version? It was, yes. This desk is drenched. <laughs> um, okay. You'll have to use it for Crafty Queens next, so I don't mind. I only have enough fluid for one more mouthful, though. That's we'll get you some more fluid. <laughs> okay, okay. I need it to pee. <laughs> <coughs> a rat. <laughs> Happy day. Uh, the theme tune to, to Sesame Street. Happy day. Everything's a okay. That one. No, that was upside down by Diana Ross. Okay. I have no fluid left. You've got oh. all that stuff that you spat out. I'm not putting the stuff that I've spat back out back in my mouth. It's come out of your mouth. It's warm and flobby. <laughs> Get off the grinder profile. <laughs> Got one note then? No, I can't. I can't. I can't do any more. Does fizzy water make it more difficult? I think it might do, Mike. <laughs> so, well, that's a shock. But stick around, because coming up next, we have Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to do all the fun things that he's invented oh, for his Crafty Queens. Well, Mike, I don't know about you, but I have a devil of a time getting my five a day down me. What about you? No. No, you managed to quaff all the fruit and vegetables? Well, yeah, because it's a pint of cider and black and a bar of fruit and nut. Oh, okay. And a, and a cucumber up your ass. Cider and black, there's apples and black currant, there's two. Okay. Right? And then it's a fruit and nut, there's two. Right, so that's four. And then chocolate's made from a bean. For those people who, who aren't as on the ball with their um, five a day consumption, we're going we're gonna to create something today that's going to make it a little bit more fun to nosh down on some fruit. <laughs> Which I've heard that before. Um, so, you have a. So, what we're going to start off with, we're going to start with, the, with a banana. So, if you, if you would like to locate your banana. I like this banana, it's the right, it's ready to eat for me. Is it? Do you like them a little crunchy? I like them a bit green. A little green. Well, what you're going to do is you. The, Are we going to eat this? We, we, uh, not right now, okay. but eventually. Okay. So, what I would like you to do uh -huh. is to take your sharp knife. Yeah. And you know the kind of fibrous end of your nana? The bottom, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't chop the whole of the stalky bit off. Okay. Just the fibrousy bit off. Okay. I have touched the tip off, but just the tip. Just the tip. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to chop the, the banana in half. Um, now, depends how, you know, I'm... Mm, 
I'm gonna kind of say three quarters of a way along the length. But not half at all then. Not half, well yeah, because you, you want a good good amount of the banana sticking out of the bowl. That was considerably easy. Uh, pop, pop that. So which, which tip, which bit do I want the biggest bit to be? The, the, the... Bit head, just... Yes, the stalk bit is the bigger bit that you want. We're not making dolphins, are we? Just, Mike, just go with the process. That's a yes. Don't get yourself angry. Right. Okay, right. So, now we're going to do something. So, the, the um, stalky bit, uh -huh. yeah, you're going to put cut a line down through it, equally half. Equally half? Well, you know, like in half. In half? Yeah. Because you are indeed creating a mouth. I cannot as yet confirm it's a <laughs> what creature it will be. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is... Um, sort of halfway down the outside of the banana. We're going to cut a V, aren't we? We're just, gonna, just a line. Just a line. Just a line? Oh, yeah, okay. just a line. Now, I have also provided you with... Because that's a very dangerous way of cutting, Mike. Um, I have provided you with some apple slices. You have? Yeah. So you want to chop one of those apple slices in half. Okay. And then you want to insert that into the gash that you have made in the banana. Now... My gash isn't wide enough. You might have to force it in. You've forced things into gashes before, I know you have. No, I haven't. I'm just going to just trim. You're just going to trim it? As long as... Well, you're creating a... You're creating a... A fin for the dolphin. A dorsal... <laughs> a dorsal fin. For the dolphin. For a do Yes, we are making banana dolphins. But we're elevating them. Right. Okay, so that's your basic dolphin, dolphin. shape. Um, now, as we're not going to be eating the skin, okay. um, it's okay for us to do this. So you just want to give a little eye each side of the top of the banana where the mouth is. And then, because dolphins have a, have a blowhole, put that on the top of its head. So far, so good? Yeah, great. Yeah. Now, the choice is yours whether you want to insert a grape or a blueberry into its mouth to represent a ball. Oh, into its mouth. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. You get the of inserting a grape. I was. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a smallish, a smallish grape. I'm going for a large grape because size matters. So you kind of what people kind of open its mouth, place the. Um, oh, this is proper cute. To be fair, um, right. So we're gonna create a home for it now. So okay. just put your dolphin just to, to one side for a second. Uh huh. Um, I've provided you with a glass dish. Yep. Okay. Have that in front of you. Mm -hmm. Pop your dolphin in the centre of it. I'm going to create some sea. Okay. For it to, to swim in. <laughs> so, you've got some blue, some blackberries. So we're going to go with blackberries first. Okay. They're going to kind of create the bottom bit. When you're happy with the amount of blueberries you've got. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have just one there. Oh, blackberries is what you told me. Blackberries. About. Yeah. Sorry. You're going to move on to blueberries. Okay. We're making fruit salad, I ask. No was the answer that I got. Well, it's it's a it's a fun version of a fruit salad. Fruit salad. Put the blueberries in. Do do do. Who says fun cut fruit can't be fun? Have you put enough blueberries yeah, in? I've put plenty of blueberries in. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna create waves on the top of the sea. Okay. So I, uh, in your little cup, you have got some blueberry yog yog, or yogurt if you're an adult, um, uh -huh. to kind of just place on top of your blueberries to create like a like a like a like a sea. Right. Don't rush, Mike. Take your time. We also eat with our eyes. Oh, I've splattered me, me dolphin. I took my dolphin out. It needs to go in. No, I took put, to put the yogurt in. I took. The oh, out. okay. Okay. This other part of uh, banana am I going to be using? The top of the yeah. banana. I am going to be using the top of the banana. Just gonna. I'm just gonna wipe the side of me banana off. Oh, it spat out his ball. Okay. Okay. Um, 
The little bit of banana, this is just, this has just come to me this very moment now. The other half of the banana, the three quarters of the banana that you've got left. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. Mm -hmm. Little bit of a, I'd put it flat. Um, let's see, let's see which way. And let's see what you're doing, Lee. Can you see what you're doing? Can no, because you, you move, move you. Move me glass. Just cut down the centre of it there. Not all the way. Okay. Splay that out a bit. Hmm. And then you can put that like it's its tail. <laughs> and then, <laughs> finishing touches, little bit of these light white doobies, um, doobras, uh -huh. for like the, the pearls. for like the, um, f the foam <coughs> on, the, on the, on the, on the ocean. Oh, they went on the table, but okay. never mind. And, and, Why have I got yogurt? Have you not put Why have yogurt? I got jelly even? Oh, I forgot the jelly. Oh no! Right, you can put the jelly in. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot all about the jelly. That can be like that. You can have that as the top of the sea. Mmm, jelly. Let's plop. Oh, can't get into that. Jelly's warm. It is warm. So it's gone fluidy. Yeah. I uh, dig deep, Mike. Dig deep to the bottom. With what? With your spoon. I haven't been given a spoon. Knife. Dig deep with my knife. Yeah. Now, to be fair, that has added nothing to this. Um, in fact, it should have been jelly, then yogurt, because now what we've got, it looks like the, sh the dolphin has been uh, eviscerated. <laughs> Finally sick. And, um, oh, that jelly is, I'm not happy with that jelly. I'll just put a little bit there. So, bit of a mistake from me, because now it looks like your dolphin's hemorrhaging um, in the sea, and you don't want that. I would have put the jelly first, and then the the yogurt. But still, I think you'll 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 agree it is pleasing on the eye. I don't think I will. Um, no. No, I don't think I will. Remember, you can't get any peen or even any vagine. Be a crafty queen. They're beautiful. No. The thing with it is, is you need to eat it quite quickly for things will be on the turn. <laughs> oh, going gayer. Um, you know, like the, the apple goes a bit brown. Okay. Um, the inside of the banana will go a bit brownie more. Um, so you do need to eat it quite quickly. See, I cheated with my tail. I made it look like an actual tail. Okay. By eating the banana in the middle, so oh. it wasn't quite so much food waste. Oh. Well, I'm not wasting any of it. I'm going to eat it all. One of not right now. I'll eat it then. No, I'm not, I'm not hungry now. Uh-huh. But you said you've got to eat it quite quickly, otherwise it shall turn. Yeah, within like a half an hour or so. But I don't want to eat it Ooh, now. But wait. Don't eat it? No, it's fine. Because you don't want to eat it, really. I, I do. You I don't really. want to eat it. I will eat it, Mike! Go on, then. I don't want to eat it now! <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Don't forget, you can follow us on social media at The Cud TV. Thank you for watching. I apologise deeply. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. 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 Gonna eat it. Thank you.